sorry for the red light, but that's the heat lamp going. This is our first, or maybe our second, we're not sure which one it is. Number two, my wife said, of our hatchlings. Yep, they were two born yesterday on my wife's birthday. So they have the same birthday as she does. Unfortunately, we don't know who or which one of the chickens took one of them out and it, we found it dead out in the pen. There was no blood so it hadn't been pecked to death or anything like that, but uh, somebody pulled it out from under the mother. So we decided we better protect this one and we brought him into the house and uh, we get him set up with food and um, when he gets used to eating the food and not the litter, we'll, we'll take this paper out, this litter underneath this paper. So, this is our first bantam chick hatched from eggs. And there are still a few more eggs underneath the hen. And then there were two. Welcome. And no, this is not April Fool's Day. Well, yes, it is April Fool's Day, but it's not April Fool. It's just two of them. The second one was born today. Well, hi, guys and gals. It's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I'm here to tell you that I have my HHR all back together again. And uh, if you look closely, you can see the color difference between the door and the rear quarter panel there and you can't tell much uh, up on the roof and of course the fender here is the same color and the bumper is the same color but this is the original hood so there is a little shade of a difference and uh, I put the original hood back on because it has the dinger there I'm going to try and punch that out and fill it and uh, see what I can do with it uh, because the other hood and I might have said this before, got whacked right here and it actually buckled that side of the hood so it didn't fit right. And so it'll be easier to fix these little dings here. I did change the grill, so I have a chrome grill. I have brand new, I mean brand new headlights. And this bumper came with uh, driving lights or fog lights, whatever you want to call them. And I'll show you in a minute, I put LED bulbs in these things. And in the process of changing the doors, uh, I also got chrome rear view mirrors. And uh, I learned a few lessons along the way. I got to do something with these. Uh, this is a, um, to keep the paint from getting scuffed, but it's all turned yellow. Uh, I may clean it real good and then uh, tape it off and paint it. But uh, yeah, you can see a little bit of difference there. And you can see that there was some scratching going on around here. They had uh, rain shades over this. And I'm going to clean these up real good. And I bought a new set of rain shades to put on. And that'll take care of that issue. Um, and I, the biggest issue that I had with this is that between 2007 and 2009, uh, the way the door locks and the window uh, things were set up in the doors was different. And I'm going to illustrate for you a couple of things. This is the panel out of 2007. It's black. The one in my 09 is a dark gray. You notice that one of the... Uh, louvers there. The vents is missing because if I take you in here because I had a broken one on this one so I was able to take it out and they only screw on from the back so it's easy enough to do and this panel just pops off. It has these clips on it so you just pry it off and uh, now this one here had the switch in it for the fog lights and the wiring was in the dash 
for the fog lights on this car, but there's no wiring beyond the fuse box. So uh, I actually had this all in there and had it plugged in and couldn't get it to work. So I did some tracing and the wires didn't go all the way down to the front. So I ended up wiring my fog lights so that they come on with my high beam lights, which is appropriate because that's about the only time you'd be wanting to run them. And uh, so that works out just dandy. And uh, the doors on the, on the 07, the switches for the power windows are down here in a panel down here. And here on my car, let me, whoa, let me drop you on your head. You feel okay? In my car, the switches are here on the door. So, and it's the same on all of the doors. The window controls are on the doors in the car, in the uh, 09, the 07, they were all controlled from the console. So that meant when I changed doors, I also had to change all of the wiring harness. And that was a pain. Because I want to tell you something. Glad I'm not an engineer. But I want to show you something. This is just a small illustration. Here's one plug here. Now you look at that. And then here's another plug here. And here's another plug here. And here's another plug goes in down here. And another plug here. These plugs are all pretty much different. And not only are they different, that's not a problem, but the way they release is different on each one. This one here, you, uh, let me see. This one here, to get it to release, you would have to pry out on it. Yep, you'd have to pry back on it. And this one here, to get it to release, you have to push in at the bottom. See that hole down there? You'd have to push in down there with a little small screwdriver. And this one here, uh, this one here, I think the clip was actually on the plug. And this one here, the clip is on the plug, but each clip is different and each kind of plug is different. And the worst of it is, like this one here, that, that re releases on the top side where you can't get a straight shot at it. If it was down here, it would be much easier to get at. Same thing here. This one here wasn't too bad. But I'll tell you what, changing them inside the door was a real pain. And so I ended up, when I was swapping doors, I finally came up with a system where I was taking the door off of the parts car, stripping the harness out of it, then taking the door off of this car and stripping the harness out of this, and taking this harness and putting it... Well, hi, Jinx, how you doing? How you doing, huh? So I had to swap the harnesses around in all of these doors, all four of them, including the back seat doors. Because see, it has the window controller there and has the lock there. And I got it all back together and everything was working. And wouldn't you know, this switch for my remote mirrors didn't work. So I thought, well, that's no problem. I got a spare one in the parts car. Went down and got it. Of course, you have to take the door panel off to get at it. And you have to unhook everything to be able to get at that. And the one out of the parts car wouldn't work. Well, this one here, somewhere along the line, it had come apart. And there's a little rubber piece that goes inside with brass contacts had it fallen on the ground. And I was looking for that thing. I thought maybe I'd swept it up and it was in the rubbish barrel. 
I looked for it for three days. Well, when I came around to the final thing and the other switch wouldn't work, I prayed and I said, Lord, I really need that piece. I don't know what I did with it. And I was sitting here in the car. Watch out there, Jinxie. Watch out. And I opened the door and I looked down and there was that part right there on the ground next to me. But uh, yeah, so if you're going to be doing work on an HHR, and if you're not going to be using the exact same year, you're going to be doing a lot of wiring. And you can see while I had a part, seeing as how I had to swap my wheels around, I decided to paint my drums in the back and my calipers in the front so it looks really spiffy. Oh, and that's the other issue, and I'm all about done here. Uh, 07 evidently did not have the air pressure sensors inside of the wheels and tires. And the 09 does. And uh, so, because this one does not, my air pressure sensor is always on. Well, that's not exactly true. We're going to look and see if the air pressure sensor is on now, the warning light. We'll get back inside here, and I'm going to start it up. Now, you watch the dashboard here. See, now this is the air pressure sensor warning light right there. See if it stays on or if it... Oh, yep, it's flashing. The other thing that's flashing is uh, I have airbag light came on after I get it started and then this service engine light comes on check engine light comes on and that goes off but I'll tell you what happens if I pull the car in and it sits overnight that sensor will go off and will actually be reading the pressure sensors in the parts car because the wheels that originally came off of this car are now on the parts car and it's close enough that the computer in this car can read those tire sensors. Now I just get the headlights on and you can see I have the high beam indicator on. I'm going to take you out and show you my headlights. them puppies. And then look down here at my fog light. Oh yeah, nice and bright I'm telling you. Nice and bright. I've got to adjust my fog light up a little bit to get a little more height out of them. They point a little bit too much down at the ground. But yeah, it makes a big difference. And I ended up putting the brand new headlights in because the ones off the parts car were so hazy. Uh, that they it wasn't hardly worth swapping them over and this one here was busted completely so so that's where we're at now i haven't given it a bath yet i need to do that pretty dirty and i'm going to give it a bath and a buff and uh yep we'll clean this stuff up and we'll put our new shades on so that's where we're at, and this ain't no April Fool's Day. Well, it is April Fool's Day, but this ain't no joke. And I've used it twice to drive more than an hour away, and she runs great. The wheels and tires work wonderfully, run nice and smooth, so I'm really happy with the changeover. And uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to try and match paint or not we'll see my wife doesn't seem to mind one way or the other and I have thought about doing some kind of custom work here you know after I fix the body work doing the same on both sides but we'll see so no further babbling 
Till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for watching, commenting, and for subscribing. And I hope you don't have changed body panels on your HHR. Just in case we need it for parts later on, we still have the old one sitting down there under the lean-to. Yep. Bye for now. I ain't April fooling. Now there's three. The other two are hiding behind their favorite place. Back in here. There they are. And I just introduced this one into the box. He, we just found him. We just got back from shopping and went out to check, and there he was, or she, whatever. He's still a little wobbly because he's fresh out of the egg. April Fools, and we got two. And the other one came on my wife's birthday.